Do you feel like you're in the kind of relationship where you're constantly trying to dissect? Why is it that they're reacting that way? Maybe I should behave something different. Maybe I should wear my hair differently, or maybe I should wear different clothes, or if I just didn't say that, or if I just didn't behave that way, or if I had just done this or that or the other, they would do something different. Why do they respond that way? Why are they text me that? Why do they call this person? Why are they spinning up all this drama? Why, why, why? And like, you feel like you're constantly like on this heightened, like, oh my gosh. If you feel that way, you're probably in a relationship with a narcissist. Narcissists have a way of throwing wrenches into the lives of their victims where they immediately want to try to appease the narcissist and say, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. Oh my gosh, da, da, da. all that, all the time, constantly. Whether or not the victim was actually at fault, usually the victim is not at fault, but the victim becomes so conditioned for constantly apologizing for anything that they might have done because clearly they must have done something terrible because the narcissist is having a total flip out. Speaking of flip outs, my cat literally just did this as I said that sentence, so. Great flip out, Sophie. Anyway, all I can say is that when you leave these relationships and you get some space away from them, you will have a moment where you're like, oh, you know what I don't ever do ever anymore? I don't have to constantly analyze why did this person totally freak out all the time on me and trying to dissect all those kinds of things. It is exhausting. It's overwhelming. You will lose sleep over it. It is very traumatizing as well. Sophie says to avoid people flipping out. <laughs> avoid the flip out person. Flip them off and move on.